In this video, we are going to be covering the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and how we can use it to solve a variety of different problems. So the first problem we're going to solve deals with the ratios. So we know aspirin. Aspirin is a, a weak acid. It's pKa is 3.4. And we want to know the ratio of the aspirin of A minus to HA in the blood. And the blood has a pH of 7.4. And so if we can remember the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, it's pH is equal to pKa plus the log of A minus over HA. So in this problem, what we are trying to solve for is this right here. And we're given a pH and we're given a pKa so all we have to do is take our equation so the pH is 7.4 our pKa is 3.4 plus the log of what we're trying to solve for so if we solve if we just subtract 3.4 from both sides we get 4 is equal to log A minus over H A. To get rid of the log, we just take it, we, we take our answer here to the tenth power, so we do 10 to the fourth is equal to A minus over H A. And then that is our answer. So it's either 1 times 10 to the 4th or 10,000 is equal to our ratio. So when it asks for a ratio, this is what we want. Which means there's about 10,000 times more A- minus in the solution than there is uh, the weak acid. And so... The next problem that we're going to look at using the same equation is we have our compound. So we have our weak acid with a pKa of 7.4. And so what I'm going to tell you is we have 100 mils of a one molar solution of this compound I'll just put compound at pH of 8.0 so, so, so we have the compound the weak acid with a pKa of 7.4 and we have 100 mils of it and we pH it at 8.0 to this compound So to this, we're going to add 30 mils of 1 molar hydrochloric acid. And what I want you guys to tell me, or, or what we're going to find out, is what is the final pH. And so this is probably one of the most in-depth problems that we're going to have to solve uh, in this class. And so, the first thing we need to do, so let's, let's get our equation. pH is equal to pKa plus the log A minus over HA. 
Right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and do what we did before, where we solve for the ratio of A minus divided by HA. So let's go ahead and do that. So the pH is 8.0, 7.4, 8.0, 7.4. Plus log of A minus over H A, and we do when we solve for the for the for the ratio, we get zero point six is log of the ratio. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take ten to the zero point six is going to be our ratio. And so we know this is going to equal to 4. So we know we have 4 times more A minus than we do HA. But we have a problem. Because we're going to add 30 mils of 1 molar hydrochloric acid to the system, we need to know how many moles of A minus and HA that we have. Well, I gave you guys a concentration and an amount so we can calculate the total number of moles within the buffer. What I mean by calculating the total number of moles in the buffer is we know to find the number of moles is going to be volume in liters times molarity. So the number of moles is going to be 0.1 liter times 1 molar. So in the number of moles we have is 0.1 moles. Right? So in our buffer, in our system, we have 0.1 moles. We can't have any more and we can't have any less. But what does our buffer consist of? Our buffer consists of moles of HA plus moles of A minus. And so now we have two different equations with two different variables. And that's how we need to solve an equation with two different variables. And so for this equation, we're going to go back to our ratio. I'm going to multiply both sides by the concentration of HA. That will cancel out. And so what we have now is 4HA is equal to A minus. And so if you can start to think about or, or start to see how we can now start solving these or start solving this portion of this problem, we now have two equations with two different unknowns. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into there. Don't get confused with concentrations and moles. Because we're looking at ratios and how things relate, in, in these types of problems, they'll be interchangeable. So now what we have is 0 0.1 moles is equal to moles of HA plus, since we now have added this portion into our equation we have plus four moles of HA. Since those two are the same we can add them together so we have 0 0.1 is equal to five moles I guess this is moles total is equal to five moles of HA. When we divide that so 0.1 divided by 5 is going to be divided by 5. So we know that the concentration of or the amount of moles of HA is going to be 0 0.02 moles of HA. And since we know we have 0 0.2 moles of HA, we can go either back to our ratio or we can go back to our total mole problem to calculate how many moles of A minus we have. So we know we have this many moles of HA. We'll plug it back into here. 
and so we'll do so we know we have 0 0.1 moles is equal to 0 0.02 plus moles of a minus we take this subtract it out and we get I'm going to write this, I apologize for the arrows we get for the moles of A minus 0 0.08 moles A minus and so we can check our work so this is the first step it seems like a lot and, and it can be but again the more practice that we're going to get the better we'll get at it or the better we'll be at it um, one of the things that again we need to do is practice so on your case study like I said they will have an, a problem where you have to find the ratio and then on your homework problem or on your homework problem set one there will be some problems like this so again to get you guys more practice and so we now know how many moles of A minus and we have know how many moles of HA now we can determine if this ratio is somewhat correct. So first off we said there's four times more moles of A minus than there are HA and based on these numbers that is correct. We can also look at the pH. So the pH of our solution is 8 whereas the pKa is 7.4. Since we are slightly more basic in our pH than the pKa it makes sense that we have more conjugate base than we do acid. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the next step, so I'm just going to write, we have 0 0.02 moles of HA, 0 0.08 moles of A minus. And to this, comp to this buffer, we're going to add 30 mils of one molar hydrochloric acid. So let's see how much hydrochloric acid we added. So we have 0 0.03 times 1 liters times 1 molar is going to be 0 0.03 moles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change HCl into just H plus because since HCl is a strong acid it will completely dissociate and so us adding 30 mils of 1 molar hydrochloric acid into a buffer is the same as adding 0 0.03 moles of H plus into a buffer. And so now what we need to do is we need to think about how buffers work. So we are going to be adding acid. So we're going to be adding acid. Okay, well if we add acid to our system, it is going to make more of the weak acid because we're adding more uh, protons into the mix and so what it's going to do is it's going to take away from some of the base and so what we're going to do is we're going to do a short accounting table um, in, in Gen Chem 2 and in Quant uh, it's known as an ice table this is not an official ice table this is an accounting table and so but initially in our initial system in our initial buffer we have 0 0.08 moles of A minus. We have no moles of H plus, And we have 0 0.02 moles of HA. Well, we're going to change this buffer by adding, or, oops, let me erase that. So we're going to add, like we said, 0 0.03 moles of H plus. When we do that, we're going to take away from the A minus, so it'll be 0 0.08 minus 0 0.03, and we're going to add that to our acid. And so our ending point of this buffer is we're since we're going to take 0 0.08 minus 0 0.03, 0 0.0 5 moles we don't have any more H plus left it's all been used up and then since we're going to take 0 0.03 we're going to add it to 0 0.02 we're going to get 0 0.05 moles so the, the question was 
what is the pH at the end? Well, what we can see is that the number of or the number of moles of A minus is equal to the number of moles of HA. And so when the ratio or when it's 50-50, if we look at this, pH equals pKA plus the log, when that's 50-50, it's a log of 1 which means it's zero, this drops out. So our resulting pH is equal to the pKa of our buffer, which previously we said was 7.4. This is, this is going to be the most in-depth math that we will be doing in this class. But it's the same steps over and over and over again. As you guys watch this video and you guys work this problem out, um, I will send, uh, as you guys work this problem out, I'll give you guys your homework set on Wednesday as you start doing that. Um, if you guys have any questions about the math, about anything that we're doing, please come see me. Um, and we can talk about it and go over it again. Um, and maybe we can change the way we're doing it. Um,